Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to Rogue Economics. This is lesson number 22, entitled, What is the Foundation of Tyranny? I'm talking about government tyranny. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm your rogue professor, Sanford Khan, otherwise known as an economic author and speaker. So what is the foundation of tyranny, government tyranny? I like to read it from uh, the late, great Milton Friedman said it best, so why should I, why should I reinvent the wheel? I'm not very good at inventing wheels, so I'll leave it up to Milton Friedman to define it. <clears throat> According to Milton Friedman, he stated that when the combination of economic and political power is concentrated in the same hands, that's a sure recipe for tyranny. That's what's happening now. <clears throat> Please understand this, that when you actually put it more simply, actually the simpler the solution, the more likely it is to be correct. That's, <laughs> anybody knows what I'm talking about, that's the <clears throat> basis of Ocam's razor. That's an insight, Ocam's razor is an insight. Uh, when you raise taxes on individuals or businesses, same thing, in the end, people pay the taxes, you're transferring resources to the government. You're transferring basically your resources to the government. You're transferring your power to the government. The government becomes more emboldened and you become more enslaved. You become more like a serf. They have power over you, more power over you. You lose your power. When you transfer resources to government, you lose your power. You're losing your power. When tax rates are decreased, resources are being transferred back to the private sector, the individuals who can now start businesses and employ people, they become empowered. And that should be the goal of government to empower individuals so they may grow and prosper. What we're having now in the United States, I can't speak for other countries, is that tax rates are being proposed to go up and quite dramatically in some areas. Guess what? Resources will be transferred out of the public, excuse me, out of the private sector to the public sector. People will start to lose their power, and government will become more empowered. It's the road to serfdom. It is the road to serfdom. You have to choose which one do you want. But when the economic and political resources are in the concentrated in the same hands, you're on the road to tyranny. That's it. And that's what's happening here in this country. I don't want to speak any longer on this subject. Appreciate it. You could pass it on. Uh, pass this video on to other people. And you have that subscribe button down there below. Uh, appreciate it. You could uh, click on it. And there's one other thing I forgot. And I don't know why I always forget it. Well, not always. But what I've been talking about is contained in this book that's now been published on Amazon in both ebook. And a printed edition. It's called A Rogue Meister's Guide to Free Thinking. A Rogue Meister's Guide to Free Thinking. Let's see if I can get it centered here. I gotta remember that it's just the opposite of what I'm used to. There you are. It's available inexpensive as anything. If you could afford a Starbucks coffee, you could afford this. Till we meet again, take care of yourself. And as I said in my last video, remember liquidity is king, not Elvis. Be prosperous, my friends. Bye now.